Bike Club Collaborations by Dave Pilkey. Cat Kid is copyright by Dave Pilkey, and it's published by Graphics, an imprint of Scholastic Inc. Chapter 1. Off to a bad start. Hello, and welcome back to another dramatic day of the Cat Kid Comic Club. I'm your host, Sarah Hatoff. And today, 21 baby frogs will dive into creativity. This is Lil Petey and Molly. They're the president and vice president of this thrilling club. Tell me, are you excited about yesterday's enchanting, explosive, electrifying news? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ugh. Okay, cut. Ugh. Remember how we talked about those one-word answers? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is supposed to be a conversation. I'm trying to make this interesting, so please stop answering every question with yeah or nope. Talk to me. Elaborate. Express yourselves. <laughs> So let's start again, and let's all try to be super enthusiastic. Okay. okay. Friday interview, take 12. We're back with Lil Petey and Molly. So, yesterday's news was very exciting, wasn't it? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma mm -hmm. Well, why don't you tell us about it? Um, okay. These four kids in our club are going to get their comic published. It's going to be a real book and stuff. And we're all gonna work on it together and stuff. Molly, you don't need to put your mouth on the microphone. Just talk normally, okay? Okay. And stuff! Not so fast. Oh, look. It's Flippy. Flippy is the father of all 21 students. And me. Oh, yes. He's Molly's dad, too. What's up, Flippy? Unfortunately, there will be no comic club today. Uh, why not? Because your bedroom is a mess. Can I clean it up later? No. Now get going. Oh man. I never get to do anything. What did you say? Oh, I said, okay, Daddy, I'll go clean up my room. <laughs> <laughs> no fair. How come we all got punished? Just because mm. Molly didn't clean up her room. Are your rooms clean? Um, no. No. Get in there and get to work! Ah, uh, uh, gee whiz. I'm going to do an inspection, and I better not find out that you've all just shoved everything in your closets again. Or under your beds. But Daddy, Daddy it's not fair. We cleaned our rooms. Me too. And we finished our comics. But now we don't get to share them. It's, it's the, the worst day of all time. time. Well, if you want, you can share your comics with our TV audience. <gasps> we, we can read our comics, comics on TV? TV? Yes, for the whole world. <laughs> Chapter 2. The best day of all time. Today's first comic is by Wendy and Rain, who are working together Rain. on a serialized biography about their dad when he was a kid. I adopted the story. And I drew the pictures on my computer. The continuing saga of Baby Flippy, based on a true story by Wendy and Rain. When we last saw our hero, he was in big trouble. He had been captured by kidnappers, bullied by a blockhead, slammed by a shipwreck, lit up by lightning, zap, and swallowed by a shark. Baby Flippy was not having a good day. We're trapped inside the belly of a shark, and it's all your fault, Baby Flippy. You'll pay for this. Fish face, fish face, fish face, fish face. Suddenly... Baby Flippy flipped out. He started to grow and grow and grow and grow. Roar! Oh no, the gamma rays in that lightning bolt must have supercharged his DNA, 
causing him to transform into a terrifying baby and grow a pair of purple pants for some reason. Baby angry! Uh-oh. Baby smash! Clunk! Er. Baby punch! Pow! Oofy owie! Baby fist foot combo! Booyah! shaka ba 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 A whoosh! Pla! Splash! Oh, booey! We're saved! Cling, cling! Then... Come on, kid. Let's get out of here. Swoosh! Baby Flippy and the octopus swam into a cave at the bottom of the ocean. Jump! Just missed. That shark can't fit inside this cave. So let's wait here until it leaves. Try to relax. Ooh. Be more chill. Be more chill. Be more chill. Soon, Baby Flippy was back to normal. What happened? You flipped out. I did? Yep. Where are we? I don't know, but at least we're safe. But then, whoosh, what's happening? Shoosh, 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 shoosh. Oh no, this isn't a cave. Shoosh, splash, it's a spaceship. Don't miss our next thrilling adventure. Baby Flippy in space. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you sure lived an exciting life, Flippy. No, I didn't. None of that story was true. Yeah, we know. We spiced things up a little. A little? That story was all spice. We know, but your true story was kind of boring. Yeah. <sighs> Girls, just because you think something doesn't mean you need to say it out loud. Your words can be hurtful. Oh, we're, we're sorry, sorry Daddy. Daddy. Okay. Hey, Daddy, when you went to space, how did I never went to space! Now get back in there and clean up those bedrooms! Hurry, before he grows into Baby Hulk again! I never did that either! Okay... Moving along, what can you tell us about your creation? It's a poetry comic about autumn! And we made it together! In the autumn pond, haiku! In the autumn pond, every leaf casts a shadow, each sound an echo. The sun shows the way, but the sun is not the way. There's a difference. Autumn days grow cold, yet in that winding downward, promises appear. Each star shines brightly, sparkling crisp on frigid twigs, dancing in breezes. Tiny scarlet leaf clinging fiercely to the branch. It's time to let go. Little fallen leaves, your journey is not over. Now you are a path. This is all the stuff about all the stuff we did. That <laughs> was lovely, girls. I agree. It was beautiful. It's, it's just, it's just so sad that the rest of your siblings weren't able to see it. <laughs> We saw it, Daddy. Yeah, it was awesome. Hey, you kids, get off of there and clean up those bedrooms. Chapter 3, A Walk in the Woods. While the kids clean their rooms, Summer and Starla have allowed us to tag along as we dig deeper into their creative process. <laughs> How did you get inspired to make your haiku photo comics? Well, we like to walk around in nature. It helps us get ideas and stuff. Oh, man. What's wrong? My finger got in the way. Oh, man. What happened? It's out of focus. Hmm. Oh man! What now? The bug I was trying to shoot jumped away. Why are you so bummed out, Summer? Well, everybody thinks I'm a good photographer, but really, most of the pictures I take aren't very good. Almost all of them are bad. I never show anyone my bad pictures. I only show the good ones. Oh, um, I think all photographers do that. Huh? They do? Yeah, that's what I do. 
And I'm a pro. Hmm. See? Really? Wow. I just like a pro. Starla, can you teach us how to write a haiku? <laughs> sure. They're just short descriptions of nature. Each poem has three lines. And each line has beats, just like music. Line one has five beats. The second line has seven. The third line has five. Do you only write haiku poems about nature? Um, no. You can write a haiku about anything. If you really look, everything is beautiful. Just open your heart. That's a lovely thought. You should make a haiku about that. I just did. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. The comic club is underway, but it hasn't even started yet. Will the rest of the baby frogs clean their room so that they can get this comic club underway? And what's going to happen with their published book? We'll just have to find out next time on Cat Kid Comic Club. Oh, I'm so happy these little freaks of nature are back. Well, if you want to get the book, there's going to be a link in the description below. Make sure you click it and get the book for yourself. You got to read it for yourself. It's so much better. If you like this video, leave it a like. And don't forget to hit subscribe. You watch these videos without hitting subscribe. It's like going to an ice cream store and just getting samples. It's just rude. All right, we'll see you next time. Love you, bye.